Do you find it really easy to set goals in your business that motivate you and keep you on track? Or do you get the whole concept of goals, but actually you really struggle to understand exactly how to do this and make it work for you? Of course, this is the time of year where all around us are constant, non-stop conversations about goals and the importance of them and how we should all be 10 xing our goals and everything else. But knowing that we should set goals and then getting down to the nitty gritty of exactly which goals to set and how to keep them relevant and feel motivated by them is a much trickier issue. So today I'm going to share with you the three constant questions that I regularly get asked about how to set great goals and my tips about how to make that work for you. So the three questions that I get asked most often are how many goals am I supposed to set? How challenging should they be? And how do I make them actually mean something and really motivate me? So when we come to that first question, how many goals should I set? It's actually a massively important question because it's so easy to have goals for everything and set a million targets. And I'm going to launch all these new products. I'm going to hit all these financial goals. I'm going to do all this stuff with my team and my processes and my business and my everything. And actually what you can do is completely overwhelm yourself with all of these different goals. So my advice would be always to strip that back. Think about the most significant changes that you want to see in your business. What is it that would make a really significant shift for you? And then how do you create very specific goals, simple and not too many goals that link very much to those real objectives that are absolutely vital for you? I would typically say for in terms of annual goals, you want to have three to five, any more than five, and you're in real overwhelmed territory. If you've got three and you think that doesn't seem enough, as long as they're big, meaty goals that will make big changes in your business, you don't need to have more than that. Of course, there's the question, does there always have to be a financial goal? And there's no right or wrong answer. There's actually no right or wrong answer to any of this. It's all about making it work for you. I would typically say that, yes, there ought to be a financial goal because the finances side of business is what allows you to really grow. It's what allows you to serve more customers, to grow your team, to offer more help. So, and yes, finances are what keeps you in business. So for me, yes, there always ought to be a financial target. It doesn't have to be a massive growth target, though. It has to be a relevant target to you. Which brings me on to question two, how challenging should your goals be? And this is absolutely an area where there is no one size fits all answer. I always have a couple of clients who are very motivated by really big, challenging, as they call it, squeaky bum goals. Uh, one of my clients said at the planning day last week, if your bum's not squeaking, then the goal's not big enough. But for other people, that is immediately traumatic. It instantly feels like the challenge is too high. The goal is overwhelming. It's this unachievable target and it can be massively demotivating. So my question for you there is, what are the type of goals that actually really motivate you? Do you need to have incremental, clearly achievable goals to make you absolutely believe in them? Or are you someone that loves that motivation of a big fat challenge and big hairy goals are things that absolutely motivate you? So get really clear on how goals work for you and then set the right levels for that. Now, what I would say though is, almost always your goal can be about 10% bigger than you think it can be. Very often people are a little conservative, a little bit safe with their goals. And just that added 10% might just give you that extra bit of um, adrenaline, that extra bit of fire, the challenge that's going to get you motivated to achieve it. And of course, the third question is, how do I make these goals feel relevant, feel meaningful, feel important to me? And I think I've kind of covered that already by just talking about getting really clear on what success actually means to you. Whenever you're thinking about a goal, think about why you're setting it. Why is this important? Why is this relevant? What is this going to feel like, look like? What will it mean if I or we achieve it? Because if you don't feel excited or passionate about what hitting that goal will give you, then you've got a goal for the sake of a goal. Whereas what you really want is something that ignites you, that makes you feel excited, passionate, makes you feel really eager about 
what things are going to look like when you achieve that goal. So don't be swayed by what you see online about other people talking about specific targets or specific goals they're setting. Your goals need to be really personal to you and to your business and to your team. They need to be really relevant to you and they need to feel absolutely connected to who you are and what you want to achieve. So those are my three big tips for this week. Uh, don't set too many goals or you'll overwhelm yourself. Be really clear on just how challenging they need to be to make you feel motivated and inspired but not completely overwhelmed. And really make sure that the goals you're setting link into your definition of success so they keep you motivated. If you need more help with this, this is exactly the type of thing I love to provide support with. So uh, get in touch with me, drop a comment wherever you're watching this video. Let's have a chinwag about how I can set, help you set awesome goals for you and your business.